Migrations are like version control for your database, allowing your team to easily modify and share the application's database schema. Migrations are typically paired with Laravel's schema builder to easily build your application's database schema. If you have ever had to tell a teammate to manually add a column to their local database schema, you have faced a problem that database migrations solve. But before doing any migration, we need to connect a database to a Laravel application. If you didn't start your MySQL server on XAMPP, do it now and open localhost slash phpMyAdmin. There we are going to create a new database and enter its name with credentials back to laravels .env file. Once you created a database in phpMyAdmin, go back to Laravel and open .env file. Here you will see the section for database configuration. Enter the database name you just created and for XAMPP the default username is root without password. Now we are all ready to create our first migration. We are again going to use artisan command. So type in php artisan make migration and give it a name. Now, if you are making a migration for creating a new table, always add minus minus create equals to table name and hit enter. Your migration file should appear under database migrations. Here we have two functions, up and down. Up will be executed when we execute the migration and down will be executed when we want to roll back our migration. So, in this case, dropping a table as a rollback seems fine. Now, in the up function, we have artisan generated us a table name and it has ID and timestamps, which will result in created at and updated at table columns. Let's add a few more. Each post should have a title which is going to be a string file type. Now in database it will actually be a varchar. So we'll give it a title and if you want a title to be null then you can just simply use nullable function and for default value you can use default here so you can just add some title we don't want any of these 
So let's add table long text for the content and we are all ready to go. So let's run PHP artisan migrate. Okay, so for some reason we got an error here. Okay, so we can see the error here telling us that table users already exist because we already have these two migrations and they were also migrated. So I'm just going to delete them real quick because we don't really need them for now. And I'm going to delete both of the tables from the database. Okay, let's run it again and we can see that migration table created successfully and we migrated we created a post table and here you can see it has all the columns we made in the migration so if we want to roll it back simply type migrate rollback And as you can see, the post table disappeared.